dear students welcome to cap tv e net classes today let us discuss the first chapter of your second year course intermediate course that is wave motion this chapter has a weightage of about 8 to 10 marks in what way the marks will be distributed one uh, laq plus one vsaq or uh, one saq plus two vsaqs like that in in this way it will be distributed so definitely laq or saq or vsaq will be there from this chapter now as in the textbook there are some six laqs there is a scope of getting definitely one laq from this chapter let us discuss those uh, laqs now in an order the first one is formation of stationary waves this formation of stationary waves in stretched strings is there open pipe is there closed pipe is there and uh, you will find this in uh, three laqs now first let us discuss stationary waves then we will see how these waves will be formed in strings then open pipe then closed pipe what do you mean by stationary wave a brief introduction is required how a stationary wave will be formed when two progressive waves of same wavelength same wavelength frequency and amplitude these waves travel in opposite directions along a straight line superimpose stationary waves are formed so you require two progressive waves maybe longitudinal or transverse that you know and diagrammatically if i represent if i take a string when you plug the string at the middle a progressive wave is set up at one end that progressive wave is transverse wave as i am taking string as an example this transverse wave travels moves to the other end where at the other end it cannot advance as that end is rigidly fixed that wave reflects and moves back and these two waves have same origin therefore they will have the same wavelength same frequency and same amplitude they superimpose and you are going to get a stationary wave due to persistence of vision how does this wave appear this wave appears in the form of loop this is one loop this is another loop like you may get two loops or more than two loops when stationary waves are formed why they are called so because these waves are confined to a limited region they vibrate only between two ends it cannot advance that is why it is called stationary wave in this wave what are the different points that are formed at the ends where they are rigidly fixed you will get a point called node node is a point where net displacement is what zero and at the center also where these two waves cross over you will get a node and in between you will get anti nodes these are the no anti nodes the points where displacement is what maximum so the displacement is maximum those regions are called anti nodes where the displacement is minimum they are called nodes and the distance between two successive nodes you take two successive anti nodes you take it is half the wavelength of the progressive wave lambda by 2 and if you take the distance between successive anti node and node this will be half of this it will be lambda by 4 this is what a stationary wave and these stationary waves we have to discuss how they are formed in strings and pipes that we have to discuss this is the basic information regarding what stationary wave 
and uh, now let us take formation of stationary waves in stretched strings. This is the first one. What do you mean by stretched string? Different musical instruments like sitar, guitar, veena, if you observe, you will find a thin string that is called chord, C O R D chord, stretched between two residents. Let uh, L be the length of the string. This is the L, L be the length of the string. And when this string is plucked at the middle by applying an external periodic force, what happens? You know in strings, the progressive waves so formed are transverse progressive waves because the particles vibrate perpendicular to the direction of propagation. As you plug the wire, the particles on the string start vibrating perpendicularly and a transverse progressive wave is set up at the end A and that will travel from A to B. At B as it cannot advance, it reflects back and reaches to B like a transverse progressive wave will be formed. This is a transverse stationary wave. This is due to superimposition of uh, transverse progressive wave. And if the string vibrates like this, at this end you are getting a node, at this end you are getting a node, at this end you are getting anti node. These are the minimum number of nodes and anti nodes that you can get in a string. And this is called first mode of vibration. This is first mode of vibration and the frequency of the string vibrating in this uh, mode is called fundamental frequency. This is the minimum frequency that is why it is called fundamental frequency. Minimum frequency means minimum number of nodes and anti nodes because both ends of the string are fixed. Definitely here one node is formed, here one node at the center as particles are free to vibrate because I said anti nodes are the points where displacement is maximum. So here at the center definitely you get one anti node. This is the minimum case that is why this frequency so obtained is called fundamental frequency. Now we have to obtain formula for fundamental frequency. What is that formula for fundamental frequency? We know whenever a wave advances in a medium, the formula is V is equal to N lambda, where N is what? Frequency, lambda is wavelength, V is uh, velocity of the wave. Then what is velocity of transverse wave? Velocity of transverse wave. As you know, a string is stretched between two residents. That means some tension will be there in the string. T is a tension in the string. And M is linear density of the string. Linear density. What do you mean by linear density? Mass per unit length. This is mass per unit length. And it is given by mass by length. Then, the velocity of the transverse wave, you know, given by root T by M. This is the formula for velocity of transverse wave. V is equal to root T by M. Velocity of transverse wave. Therefore, here what you are going to get? V is root T by M n lambda. n is equal to 1 by lambda root T by M. How do you get lambda? Now, here there you are getting two nodes. The distance between these two nodes will be lambda by 2. Therefore, in a string of length L, you are getting a wave of length lambda by 2. So, lambda is equal to what? 2L. Therefore, N is equal to 1 by 2L root T by M. This frequency is called fundamental frequency. This is fundamental frequency. Now, in this string, or it is also called fundamental harmony, it is also called first harmonic. It is also called first harmonic because frequencies are also called harmonics. First fundamental frequency, minimum frequency is called first harmonic. In the same string, you can get different higher frequencies also. How do you get different higher frequencies? Yes. 
same length of the string if you take and you vibrate this with more external periodic force, same length, more external periodic force, then